Hey, Emma, sorry about this. It seems like I'll be stuck working late again tonight. I can't say for sure when I'll be back, so don't wait for me. Feel free to hit the hay early if you want. What? Working late again? Seems like it's becoming a regular thing lately. Well, it's a busy job, I suppose. I'm really sorry, babe. It looks like I won't be able to make it back until after midnight. I know it's a bummer, but I'll try to make it up to you. I promise. I see. I know it's your job and all, and there's not much we can do about it. But I do miss having you around. Just wanted you to know that. Sorry, I'll do my best to wrap things up and get home as soon as possible. Oh, by the way, I was thinking about cats. You're into them, right? What? What is this about? Oh, wait, maybe I'm mistaken? Haven't you been heading over to your brother's place quite often to hang out with his cat? Um, no, not really. I mean, I do like cats, but I was just curious about why you brought it up. Is there something on your mind? No, I was just thinking. How about the next time I have some time off, we go visit the pet shelter together? We could see if there's a cat you really connect with, and who knows, maybe we could bring one home and give it a loving family. What do you think? Well, that makes me really happy, but you're not good with animals, right? Would you be okay with having a cat? Don't stress about me too much. By the way, I've noticed my work hours have been longer lately, you know? So, I thought it would be a good idea to keep you a bit distracted from missing me too much. What do you say? It's really okay? I'd love that. So, I can get any cat I like? I said so, didn't I? You're always helping me out, so sometimes at least I have to do something for you. Otherwise, what kind of husband would I be? This is so great. You took vacation next week, right? I can't wait. I thought it would make you happy, but this much? You seem a little too excited. It makes me super happy, more than anything. It's because I've never had a cat before. Now I've got to look at what things I need to take care of it. Oh, maybe I'll ask my brother for advice. Ha, <laughs> you're getting ahead of yourself as usual. Maybe ask an employee at the pet shelter or something about the details. You can wait until then to get all the things you need. I just can't wait. Despite living specifically in a pet-friendly apartment, I've never had an opportunity like this. That's why I'm so happy. Ah, well, I guess since I'm not good with animals... Oh, sorry. I've only been thinking about my own excitement. I hadn't thought about how it would be for you. Stop worrying about it. It was me who suggested it. I know that, but are you sure you're not overdoing it for my sake? It's no problem. I said I'm not good with animals, but I'm not, like, allergic to them or anything, so... I'm just not good with them because I haven't been exposed to them that much. But I still think they're cute. I'm living with you, so I'll get used to it. I see. I hope you're right. If we're going to welcome a cat into our family, I want it to be important to you too. Before now, and even now, you're putting up with a lot. You being happy is the most important thing to me. This is a good opportunity. All right, thanks. Well then, next week it is. Oh, I hope they have some cute cats. Me too. Sorry, I gotta get back to work. I don't know when I'm getting back, so don't wait up for me. Get some rest. Roger that. I'll go to bed missing you. Yeah, yeah. Good night. Emma, I'm really sorry, but I have to work late again today. I apologize for leaving you so alone so often. Oh, I see. When it comes to your job, there's nothing you can do. Don't worry about me. Yeah, but still, I said I may come home early today, and this is happening instead. I'm truly sorry, Emma. It's fine, it's fine. Besides, I'm not lonely. I have Peanut with me. Yeah, you really love her, don't you? Ever since we left the shelter, you haven't left her side. Well, that's because she's adorable. How could she not be with her perfect round face? Well, yeah, she is cute. But even so, I think you've been spending too much time with her. You have a job too, isn't it hard when you're so attached to her? Not at all. If anything, I'm just getting to distribute some of my work energy around. Well, I'm glad you're taking care of her, so I don't mind. I should say I never asked before, but why did you end up naming her Peanut? Because she's kind of the color of a peanut, and it just sounds cute. Yeah, I see. Oh, tomorrow you're going to your parents' house, right? Yeah, but it's only one day. I'm staying there tomorrow, but coming home the next day. Why do you ask? Well, Pina is staying at home, right? I just wondered if you'd be okay since you've been with her so much. Won't you miss her? Well, of course I'll miss her. If I brought her home with me, I'd probably have a lot of food and other stuff to bring, though. 
It's only a day, so I feel bad to drag her all the way there. But if you came with me, we'd be able to bring her. Ah, that might be tough. I have that day off more or less, but because work is piling up, I want to do some work from home if I can. You work so hard, even on your days off. I really appreciate it. This is a part of working too, I suppose. I just have to suck it up and do it. Yeah, well, at least I tried. I know how busy you are. I need to cut you some slack sometimes too. Sorry, really, I'm making you lonely again. It's alright, because I have a secret plan, so I won't be lonely. Huh? Secret plan? What is it? Hmm, it's still a secret. What? What do you mean? You're worrying me. I'll tell you after I come back from my parents' house. Until then, it'll still be a secret for you. Gotcha. Alright then, you can have fun with that too. Work hard, okay Evan? Thanks for taking care of Peanut. If you're not sure about something, call me. Worst case scenario, you can ask my brother to at least come and check on her. Calling your brother over just to take care of your cat? I'd feel bad. I'll take care of her on my own. But he lives in the same neighborhood and he loves cats, just like me. I don't think he'd mind. Yeah, but I would. Well, I'll take care of things over here. You don't need to worry about Pina and me. Okay, I'll leave it to you. I think I'm gonna leave first thing in the morning tomorrow. You'll make it in time, right? Don't worry, I'll definitely make it in time. Great. Well then, I look forward to tomorrow. Yep, give your parents my best. Please let them know I'm sorry I can't see them in person this time. Got it. I'll leave this place to you. Hey, Evan. Anything changed over there? Changed? What do you mean? Nothing in particular has happened. If I had to say something, I guess Peanut has started interrupting me while I'm working. Oh, really? Did you give her enough food? Yes, yes, everything's fine. Recently, she's become attached to me too. Because I figured out how to take care of her now. I've given her food and played with her a little too. Thank you for that. How about work? Is it going alright? Thanks to you, there's an attack by Pina every once in a while, but the rest of the time it's fine. If I finish what I'm working on now, I'll be done for the day. Nice. You deserve a break every once in a while. Don't forget that. How is it over there? You've been over there for a while. I thought you'd be home by now. Are you getting your fill? How are your parents? I'm on a drive with them right now. Both of them are great. So much so that it's almost too much for me. Both of them seem so young still. I have to follow their example. Is that so? I thought you had some energy in you still. Me? I'm already an old man. It's gotten harder to stay up all night recently. My body doesn't listen to me. I plan to go to bed right away after I finish work today. That soon? How much work do you still have left to do? About two hours. After that, all that's left is to do is sleep. And you're not here, so I'll be sleeping all alone tonight. I see. Well, before you go to sleep tonight, do you mind doing me a small favor? What is it? If it's housework or something, I've already got it done. Is there something else? Can you tell that woman beside you to not wear my pajamas? Those are my favorites, so I'd really like it if she didn't get them dirty. Huh? The woman beside me? Oh, maybe you mean Peanut. Ah, she's being such a good girl. She's not playing with your pajamas or anything like that. I'm not talking about Peanut. I'm talking about the brunette woman leaning against you. She's your mistress, right? It creeps me out to think that my pajamas are being worn by a woman like that. Make your change, right now. No, seriously, what are you saying? What you said just now about a woman next to me, about a mistress? Aren't you at your parents right now? Don't just say random things. Well, technically we're driving. I mean, you're panicking so much because I hit the bullseye, right? Are you that surprised? No, that's not what I meant. I'm just saying don't say random things that you don't know are true. Or else, do you want me to have a mistress? I don't want you to have a mistress or anything. Have you gone this far and still not realized? I can see you. What do you mean you can see me? Inside the house. And while we're at it, I've also heard all your conversations with her as well. What kind of occult nonsense are you talking about? I told you, I still have work. I don't have time for your antics. I've been so obsessed with a cat recently, I didn't notice you were having an affair. So I'm just an easy woman who can be distracted from her loneliness by a cat, right? Sorry. I guess for being such an easy woman. You're kidding! You set up a surveillance camera? Well, technically it was a camera to keep an eye on the cat. I said yesterday, remember? I said that even though I'd be apart from Peanut, I had a plan to make it work. Huh? If you're going to set up something like that, you should tell me ahead of time. 
What an invasion of privacy. You got to be kidding me. Surely you're the one who's kidding. I was going to surprise you last night with a voice call feature. I never thought I'd be watching you have an affair instead. I'm disgusted. I never imagined you could do something like this to me. You say that like you're justified. This is just like a voyeurism. Do you have no common sense? You know what, Evan? People who have affairs in their own home while their wife is away lack basic common sense. It really stings to hear that, doesn't it? If you do this kind of thing, what will happen to our marriage? We promised when we got married, didn't we? That we'd be happy together? Are you really thinking about tossing that aside like it's no big deal? How could you possibly think you have a right to say that to me? You continued your secret relationship in ways that I wouldn't find out, and you told her someday you'd be happy together forever. How can you say that to me now when you say that to her? Oh, don't get quiet now. Just because it's inconvenient for you. Well, whatever. I'll ask about the details when I get back to the house. What do you mean when you get back to the house? You're coming back? Yeah, with my parents. I told you, didn't I? We're driving. Our destination is the house. And you're bringing your parents along? What are you planning to do? I thought this was something we should handle as a couple, you know? You don't have to involve your parents in our business. It wasn't me who decided to do this. Oh, that's right. If you're thinking of escaping, it's not going to work. What do you mean? What did you do? Because the front door probably won't open. The front door won't open? What do you mean by that? I got my brother to make sure it wouldn't open. But I didn't need to tell you that, right? Your precious mistress is at the front door yelling that it won't open. You really can hear everything, can't you? I said so, didn't I? Oh, that woman's actually in quite a panic, isn't she? Why don't you calm her down? She seems to be having trouble, poor thing. No, no, Emma, listen. Let me explain everything. What? There's nothing I could possibly want to hear from you. Please listen. This is different. It's not that I'm having an affair or anything. You understand? What? Are you going to make excuses? If you are, then I'll ask you when I get there. We'll be there soon anyway. Won't it be more efficient if you do it in front of my family? Just wait a second. I just said this is a problem between us. It's a problem between you and me, so let's just talk about it, the two of us. We don't need to trouble them like this. You're in such a hurry. Is it that bad for you? Or are you thinking that if it's just me, you can deceive me with your words? Oh, I'm so easy of a woman that a cat was all it took to hide your affair from me, right? And now you're thinking it'll be easy to explain it all away, right? Oh, it's not like that. But look, this kind of thing is delicate. Do we really have to have this embarrassing conversation in front of my in-laws? I'm sure you don't want to either. It's a little too late for that, isn't it? I've been watching you have your affair all day. I have nothing to be ashamed of. So sit back and relax until we get there. Hey, Emma, is this really the end for us? Are you honestly okay with that? Ugh, you're so annoying. We talked about it already. What part of it do we talk about? When your parents and your brother were in the house, there was nothing I could say. But you agreed, didn't you? That we would divorce. And I would charge you and your mistress alimony. There's nothing more to discuss. Because your parents were right there. I don't see that as a discussion. My hands were tied. Couldn't say what I really wanted. But you signed the divorce papers, didn't you? So it's too late now. Even the divorce papers aren't the end-all be-all. If I file to have the divorce annulled, that slip of paper means nothing. In that case, I'll divorce you. Even if I have to go to court, the evidence of your affair will be enough. No matter what you do, I will win. Listen, let's talk about this before things get out of hand. Remember what I told you yesterday? I'm not serious with her at all. You expect me to believe that? Okay, we did have that kind of relationship, but I regret it. I feel bad about it now. Right now, the only person I love is you. Please believe that, at least. You love me? Are you serious? Don't be an idiot. While you were lying about working late so you could have an affair, I was missing you the whole time. If you really loved me, why would you do such a thing? Remember when you told me you were feeling lonely? Well, I went ahead and got you Peanut, didn't I? You even said having him made you happy. Don't say things like, I went and got her. Peanut is family. For you, she may have been a tool to help you hide your affair. But to me, she was a more valuable partner than you ever were. What? The cat more valuable than me? Is that supposed to be funny? Laugh if you want to. No matter how much I've missed you, I've been patient. I figured your job was your job and you didn't have a choice and I endured it. 
If I get laughed at by someone who betrayed that trust without a second thought, I don't care one bit. Sorry if I didn't express myself well. Please don't be mad at me. While you had Peanut, you were my everything. So let's not talk about divorce. We're in this together and I value more than anything. You had your mistress, didn't you? Why don't you divorce me and stick with her? It's really come to this? There's no way I can do that. The, the fact you know this and would still say that is beyond mean. It really doesn't matter, does it? We're divorcing anyway. You don't want to do this. Trust me, you're going to regret it. I don't want to do anything that you don't want to do. Trust me, I won't regret a single thing about what I'm going to do. You know, I'm glad actually. Now I won't miss you. And divorcing me won't be a problem, right? Hey, please stop saying that. Are you suggesting that she and I will end up paying alimony? We can't afford to put each other through that. You're the only person I have and want in my life. I have Peanut, so I'm good. So don't worry about me. Please, be happy with her. Oh, but I guess it's a little too late to be happy now. What do you mean? Well, because I sent all the videos of you with your mistress to your parents. Oh, they're probably really angry. It might be hard to live happily ever after with your mistress now. What? Did you seriously do that? I didn't hear about any of that. When I told them what happened, they insisted on seeing it. There was nothing else I could have done, don't you think? You've got to be kidding me! Now that you've done this, what will I do? You said it yourself. With hardship comes happiness. Why don't you get over it and find your true happiness? Well, to find the happiness you were talking about, I suppose you have to be ready to give up everything else. After that, Evan and I went through the divorce process without any major complications. Fortunately, I had evidence of his affair, which made it impossible for him to deny. As a result, I was able to receive alimony for him, and it was only fair that his mistress also contributed to the financial settlement. You could say it was a complete victory for me in that regard. Furthermore, Evan's parents disowned him after witnessing the evidence of his infidelity. His mistress, being a junior member of his company, faced rumors and gossip within the workplace. The consequences were severe for both of them, as they lost their positions and were ultimately forced to resign. Given the circumstances, their relationship couldn't withstand the pressure, and they broke up when they left their jobs. I can't speak for his mistress's current situation, but it appears that Evan is facing significant challenges in his life. Engaging in an affair is not just a betrayal of a partner. It also betrays the trust of parents, siblings, and those around you. There is no convenient narrative where people who betray so many others find happiness for themselves. Evan is no exception to this rule, as he has essentially ruined his own life. As for me, I am currently living with my parents along with Peanut, our faithful companion. It's complicated to think how Peanut came into our lives given the circumstances. However, moving forward, I am determined to love and cherish her as a valued member of my family that she is. In the end, the affair and its aftermath had had far-reaching consequences for everyone involved. It serves as a reminder that betrayal carries significant repercussions. While Evan's actions has called him great hardship, I am focused on rebuilding my life and finding happiness in the support of my family and the companionship of Peanut, who brings me joy and love.